CEO Ronnie from Create a Difference talk to you about the new storm parallax effect bowling ball. Part of their premier line and we're going to throw that ball on two different surfaces today. We've got uh, AMF SPL on lane two, Brunswick Pro Anvil lane on lane one. And we're going to throw that new bowling ball from Storm, part of their premier line. Give you a feel for how that ball performs. We're on a broken down house shot. This is High Street version two. So it's a longer pattern, some more volume. It's been broken down, which is good because that should allow the parallax effect, being a shiny ball, uh, to perform best. Let's actually take a look and see what the scan is of that ball. Now that ball comes from the factory 1500 grit polish, but we're actually going to scan it and show what that looks like on a bowling ball. So 1500 grit polish is actually 5300 plus, which is one of the interesting things. A lot of times people ask us, hey, what? do I do to bring back my bowling ball surface if it's a 1500 grit polished bowling ball? A lot of times they say, well, let me sand the ball to 1500 grit and then polish it. And that's not what you should do. In fact, as we've just shown you, that ball scans at 5300 plus, which means what you should do is you should go 2000 grit, 3000 grit, P5000D by hand, and then use the true cut hand applied polish powder by Turtle Wax to get that ball to 5500 grit. That will get you back to what the uh, factory finish actually scans at. But anyway, we're taking a look at Dustin throwing this bowling ball. Can you kind of see where he's playing at? Big hook, down lane. Ball's definitely an angular piece from Storm. We're also going to take a look at this bowling ball, a little bit of surface on it. You know, one of the things that people tend to forget is how important surface is, right? You know, having the right surface on your bowling ball can be the difference between a big game and a little game, or bowling well or not bowling well. That's part of the understanding ball motion equation. And obviously, with what we're bowling on right now, uh, that bowling ball seems to be just fine where he's at. So let's go to lane one which is the Brunswick surface. And that Brunswick surface actually uh, is a lower friction. So it will not, the ball won't hook as much. So similar part of the lane there. That ball went right through the face. So we'll have him throw it again, a couple more shots. Ball's got a lot of flare you can see. Big flaring, high performance ball. Kind of what you would expect from Storm. So he'll make an adjustment off of that shot. Much better, much better. Move down a little bit. Ball likes to get down the lane and pop. We would call that shape uh, angular. That'd be an angular ball motion. So what I'll do now, we'll have Dustin go ahead and put a little service on this bowling ball. And let's see how it performs then. We have to see how it performs obviously in its out of box shape. So we're actually gonna put a little service on the bowling ball now and we're gonna see how that performs. Dustin's just gonna apply the service by hand. Applying the service by hand is something you can do in practice. You can't do it during competition, but you can do it during practice. Now, the question is what grit are we putting on the bowling ball? You can see uh, the bowling ball definitely is receiving that grit. Uh, you can also see it's leaving a little bit of a mess there, which is fine. You know, if you're in a situation where you need uh, some additional performance out of your bowling ball and it's before competition or after competition, anytime except during competition, you can alter the surface uh, of your bowling ball, as Dustin is doing. Now, the downside to this is, is he's not uh, using a ball spinner, so it won't be as consistent as you would like, but the pad uh, definitely is okay. You go ahead and go ahead and wipe it off, and let's scan it, let's kind of see what you got from a surface standpoint. 
the pad he was using was actually a, a true cut 1500 grit pad so i'm curious to see what it scans like especially considering uh, what we were able to do with that ball so you can kind of see there there we go so he's he's got it down to about 4500 right 4500 doing it by hand um, and that's primarily just showing some of the inconsistency there's 3500 right so it's showing some of the inconsistency you can see that right as a matter of fact we can actually go a little bit deeper with that so you can really see um, and this is one of the things you have to be careful of by when you sand a ball by hand now you can see there's some lines in this ball right but the ball also still has some of that initial shine on it and that's why we're seeing a higher number uh look at this you know what that is right there that's a scuff mark um but this bowling ball definitely uh, if you wanted to get it to be uh, a good consistent finish uh, you could do it by hand you do it a lot longer than what we're doing it here today or you could obviously take that bowling ball uh, to the pro shop have them do it on the ball spinner them as well so anyway we got a little more service on the ball so now we'll see kind of how it rolls eh, definitely roll here right what you'd expect now Here's the thing, you're gonna be able to get this type of ball motion difference out of changing the surface, which is a lot more ball motion difference than say if we go to another one of these parallax effects bowling balls at a different uh, layout. And the reason is because the surface ultimately is the key to being able to alter your ball reaction. And you can see that we've altered the ball reaction quite a bit just by placing a little bit of surface on that bowling ball. So we'll have him throw another shot. I don't know how that struck, but definitely was early. Definitely was a lot earlier. So we'll have him make a move again. So you can see that bowling ball, you know, it doesn't look super, super dull, obviously. And that's just because we lightly sanded it by hand. So he'll make an adjustment. And this is, like I said, this is what you can do. If you're having trouble with your bowling ball, you need it to do some different things. Maybe consider that. Great. So now you got to see a little bit more about how that performs. We're going to hit the bowling ball one more time with the pad just to show you what happens when you begin to get even more service on that bowling ball. So he'll go ahead and hit the same pad, same everything. We're just going to hit the whole ball again, try to be as consistent as possible. When you're sanding the ball, you want to go around the sides of the bowling ball first. You'll work your way to the top. You'll go back to the sides of the bowling ball. Work your way to the top. Flip it over, do the same thing. That's the process you want to do if you're understanding your bowling ball. And you can see now, obviously, going over that again, um, we're able to be able to get definitely some more service on this bowling ball. So he'll flip it over. You can tell there's a big difference between the shiny side and the not so shiny side. And this is kind of a good lesson for you at home, too. You know, you may uh, experience. Um, it's a situation where you need uh, to make sure that you've knocked all the polish off of the bowling ball, which we could have went to a more aggressive step uh, to make sure that we got that done. We didn't want to do that. We were right in the middle at 1500 grit at first. We'll wipe that off and uh, then we'll take a peek and see kind of what it scans at now and then let you see a little bit, of, uh, you know, the difference. So we'll go ahead and scan the ball right here now. Yeah, see, look at that. Now he's got it down there. There we go. So he's moving around now. It's closer to that 1500 grit. Obviously, same kind of thing. You know, uh, you know, you, you, you got to be consistent as possible, but you're seeing that now. We're seeing that number a little bit more consistent. Um, and it's definitely lower. So we're going to be able to watch this ball roll and see exactly what type of performance we're going to be able to get from it now. Cool. They said that was a 1500 grit pad that we used. So now we're closer to that 1500 grit and we're going to see how she performs. Way, way earlier and flatter. So you can see not always is it a good idea to continue to put service on the bowling ball because now what's happened is the ball's become so much earlier that it can't hook a whole lot down lane. It's actually hitting the flat. And as a result of that, you know, you're not going to carry very well. Uh, you're not going to be able to use this ball for very long. And this is kind of what happens when you kind of overdo it, right? So at that, 1500 grit ish range which is kind of where we're at now um, you can see the ball is just way too early way too early and it's kind of flat see that ring 10 ring 10 because the ball is hitting flat it's hitting flat and hitting too early so you got a little more information a little more insight some tips that maybe you can use to make sure your ball reaction is the best it can be 
Um, if you have more questions, you can make sure you go to bowlingforless.com. You can get you one of these parallax effect bowling balls from bowlingforless.com. Or if you're interested, maybe consider joining our staff and learn some more information about ball surface and ball preparation and how you can get the best ball, best bowling ball reaction that you can get for your game. With that being said, I'm out of here. CEO, Ronald from Creative Difference. Talk to you soon.